On July 14th of 2019, Nathan Patterson was just your average baseball fan. He lived in Nashville, Tennessee, where he worked as computer software salesman and played in a men's baseball league during his free time. One day later, he became an internet sensation and ended up signing a professional baseball contract with the Oakland A's. What happened to Nathan Patterson? Hey guys, Brett here, Baseball Prospect Analysis, and I wanted to remind you guys I'm currently running an Xbox Series X giveaway. At 5,000 subs, I'll be giving away an Xbox Series X to one of my lucky subscribers. In order to be eligible for the giveaway, you must be subscribed to this channel, following my TikTok, the link will be in the description, and you must like this video. The full rules will be on the screen. All right, now back to the video. Nathan Patterson was a class of 2014 middle infielder out of Overland Park, Kansas. He attended Blue Valley West High School and played for their junior varsity baseball team. Unfortunately, due to his undersized frame and an elbow injury that occurred his junior year, he would never make the varsity team. With no real plans to pursue the sport any further, Nathan would initially enroll at a local community college before leaving to start his own landscaping business. At this point, Nathan was literally mowing lawns and trimming bushes in his hometown to make a living. After some time, he decided to make a career change and would move to Austin, Texas, where he would accept a sales position for a software company. This again was short-lived as he would move to Nashville in early 2018 with his new girlfriend. Little did Nathan know, this move to Nashville would lead to a life-changing event. In August of that year, Nathan, his father, and a friend purchased tickets to a Nashville Sounds game. While enjoying the game at First Tennessee Park, the three of them opted to go browsing the stadium for food and in-house attractions. During their stroll, Nathan's father and friend spotted the speed pitch game, urging him to give it a try. With low expectations and no warm-up whatsoever, Nathan proceeded to throw his first ball 90 miles per hour. Shocking everyone, including himself, he decided to throw five more balls. His last throw clocked in at 96 miles per hour. This led to a real-life Rookie of the Year type situation. He could simply ignore his newfound talent or he could pursue the chance of a lifetime. Nathan decided to choose the latter and hired an agent to help him with the process. Luckily, this agent was able to put him in touch with former Oakland A's pitcher, Jared Parker. Parker, who also lived in Nashville, worked with Nathan on developing his secondary pitches and mechanics on the bump. After a solid three months of training and development, Patterson's journey came to an unexpected halt. In December of 2018, Nathan was struck by a car, resulting in him needing surgery on his left wrist. Once again, he chose to continue training and marketing himself instead of giving up. Nathan would end up sending a speed pitch video to the Flatground app on Twitter, which quickly went viral. This led to multiple college and major league organizations reaching out to him expressing interest. After a full recovery and some time training, Nathan was finally invited to a pro day where he'd be able to throw in front of major league scouts. In his own words, Nathan described his bullpen as unbelievable. It clearly was good enough to impress some scouts as Oakland A's area scout Anthony Alosi decided to chat with them personally after. Alosi explained that Patterson should continue working on his development and should join a men's amateur league to get some live innings in. Any future outings in the men's league should be taped and directly sent to him. After a few successful live games with the men's league, Patterson's family decided to take a family vacation to Colorado where they would attend a Rockies game. And of course, they knew they had to stop by the speed pitch attraction for old time's sake. Once again, Nathan impressed, touching 96 and wowing the crowd surrounding him. However, this time, the video went mega viral. Shortly after this stunt, the Oakland A's signed Patterson to a minor league contract. This led to multiple news outlets, TikToks, and social media accounts publishing misleading stories. Yes, Nathan was signed by the A's, and yes, it happened after the Colorado video was published. But the A's did not sign him due to the video like many stories claimed. They actually never saw the Colorado video and were unaware of its existence. Oakland offered him a contract based on their prior scouting of him and the men's league videos he sent in. Nonetheless, Nathan still became internet famous overnight. The fame would slowly die down after about two weeks. In Nathan's own words, he said, At first, it was kind of surreal, but now I'm living in it and have gotten more comfortable with the clubhouse and the guys. Oakland was also fairly optimistic about signing him. Eric Kubota, the A's amateur scouting director, explained that signing Nathan was not much different than signing a late round draft pick. It's a somewhat low risk, high reward situation. Unfortunately, Nathan's time with athletics would be short. In 2019, he'd be signed to the Arizona Rookie League, where he would make three appearances. In 5.2 innings, he'd post a 4.76 ERA with eight strikeouts and one walk. The sample size is certainly small, but take into account that he'd hold opponents to a .150 batting average, and he only gave up three hits, one of them being a long ball. His stat line shows promise. 
He can clearly throw strikes, has ability to punch out opponents, and just needs more innings. That one home run, most likely a three run shot, greatly elevated his ERA. However, with a canceled 2020 season and organizations trimming the fat off their minor league rosters, Nathan was in trouble. He was a project that Oakland no longer wished to continue. On November 18th of 2020, Nathan Patterson was released by the Oakland A's. This must have been demoralizing for Nathan. His numbers truly weren't that bad, and something he couldn't control clearly hurt his chances to stay with the athletics. Personally, I understand every team was performing similar cuts, but with this amazing story, I wish they would have kept him. Despite the frustration and lack of a team, Nathan continued training. On January 26th of 2021, Nathan went back to his roots, posting another Twitter video. This time, a bullpen, showcasing his mid-90s fastball, excellent changeup, and below average breaking stuff. He pounded the zone with all four pitches and displayed relative ease doing so. Though it did not go viral, it still caught the attention of my hometown Brewers. On February 2nd of 2021, Milwaukee signed Patterson to a minor league contract. He'd be assigned to the High A Wisconsin Timber Rattlers and would appear in five games, only throwing 4.2 innings. Overall, he did not do well, posting a 13.58 ERA, walking seven and striking out three. Then, on May 27th of that year, he would declare retirement, effectively ending his Rookie of the Year real life movie. This was certainly not the ending anyone had hoped for, but for Patterson, I'm sure it made the most sense. So now, let me explain my thoughts on what happened, why he failed, and why he left after only two seasons. Well, first off, let me say Nathan did not fail by any means. He was able to play professional baseball. This is something 99% of us could never say. He was also able to develop into an actual pitcher and not just a thrower. His changeup certainly had potential, his fastball located fairly well, and his mechanics were fairly clean and easy. His breaking stuff, on the other hand, was definitely below average. Either way, his stuff had potential, and I feel like he was given a raw deal. When he entered the Arizona Rookie Ball League, he was certainly older than much of his competition. The Rookie Ball League is designed for fresh high school and some college draftees to get their feet wet before they go to short A ball. You'll also find some international young guys getting their first feel of baseball played in the States. As I mentioned earlier, he actually did fairly well in this league, especially for someone who had only a couple men's league appearances in his pitching career. If the 2020 season was never canceled and that crazy thing we can't mention on YouTube never happened, I feel like we would have seen him in Stockton with the Oakland A's low A ball team the ports. This would have been a great test to see if he could continue developing and learn from his in-game experiences. Unfortunately, that never happened. Instead, he missed a whole season of in-game development and ended up in high A with the Timber Rattlers. It should be noted, low A ball clubs became a thing of the past in 2022. Now, there is only single A and high A. For Nathan, that jump to high A after a year of only training and bullpens, I believe, was detrimental. He clearly was not ready, and the numbers he posted certainly showed that. There is no way he would have been able to compete at that level without an average to above average out pitch. His fastball and changeup could certainly play, but they weren't enough. Now, from the organization's perspective, I can't blame them. When you have a 25 year old reliever with no AAA or AA experience, you don't have that many options. Milwaukee essentially gave him a sink or swim opportunity. He could flourish and develop in high A with hopes of a double A promotion, or he could struggle and hope for another chance next year. Nathan, once again, took an alternate route and chose to retire. This may shock some of you, but retirement was probably the smartest choice he could have made. Nathan had just gotten married to his longtime supporter and girlfriend, Taylor, in January of 2021. Not even 10 months later, they announced she was pregnant with his soon-to-be son, Nash Jackson. In a recent post, Nathan explained, by the end of my career last summer, I was mentally drained, broke, and physically unable to compete at the level I expected for myself, and that crushed me. He would go on to explain the mental and physical struggles the past year had brought him. Something many baseball fans tend to forget is how little minor leaguers are paid. For many, they pinch every penny their draft signing bonus brought them while they grind through the farm leagues. However, Nathan was never drafted. He was simply signed to a minor league team twice. This brought him a grand total of 15 grand over three years. He explained in a recent tweet the mental toll this can take on you and that an opportunity simply can't buy groceries. And he's right. For someone trying to build a family and become financially stable for the future, professional baseball was just no longer an option. In my personal opinion, he absolutely made the right choice. It's sad to see a dream die, but at some point, you have to do what's best for yourself and for your family. That's about it for today, guys. I'd like to thank y'all if you made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for weekly content. The rules for the 5K Xbox Series giveaway will be listed on the screen now, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.